Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here once again with another episode of Stacking the Lost Hobo King. So, we were just about to enter the castle which we have unlocked after saving the three lost hobo blacksmiths to see what we have to do to reforge the hobo crown. Why is there always wizards in here? This is a locked room. Okay, apparently we have to go up here to the top. We gotta put our people in the right positions, I guess. So let's try putting fire here, and our pan here, and our water, is there another position? Fire probably has to go here, actually. I don't see another position for them. Okay, well you know what, before we guess randomly, let's check the wizard. Let's bring you guys down so I can see them. Jump in our wizard. Read the rooms. Yeah, I was right. Fire goes at the bottom. I'm guessing pans go there and water goes at the top. Okay. Bad first guess. But, not a problem. Fire goes there. Pan goes there. Water goes there. There's no hot metal here for me to douse. Okay. So I actually have to do them one at a time this time instead of just putting them all in the right places. Well, so I'm guessing that heats up the fire. No. The crown must be hot before I can reform. What are you talking about? Where did we get this crown from? All three of you must use your talents to complete the crown. Yeah, that's, that's great, but... There's nothing in there for me to heat. There we go, now it's getting warmed up. Okay, so I'll leave you down here, now that there actually is fire in there. I don't know why it didn't light the first time, but whatever. Now we'll smash it with our pan. Honk! Honk! Oh, there's totally a crown shape in there. Ta-da! A molten crown. Let's douse that puppy. Ta-da! da na 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 It's got a fish on it. This is, this is a sardines can, or tuna can, or something. The boy who wouldn't be king. It is as it has been foretold. Please, I must hold the crown. Let's just roll it downhill. Dun -dun -dun -dun. The crown has been restored to its ancient glory. The Hobo Nation has its king! Me? But... but... I can't wear that. It is a bit big for you. You must! Your people need you, my liege! No, you don't understand. I don't think the crown will stay on my head. It's much too big. Great boxcars! The crown has been reforged! Well met, Charlie! Please, sir, avert your eyes when speaking to the king. King? Charlie? But I am the inheritor to the throne of Hobo. <laughs> it was the boy whose valor restored the crown. It is for him to decide. It would be an honor to be the king of such a fine people. But I'm not worthy. It's Rufus Riken who can lead his people to a better life. That was easy. My liege. It is time for the celebratory tuna to rain from the sky like a salty monsoon to the cannery! It was a tuna hat. <sighs> well then. Also, I don't really like beans and sardines. Ho ho ho! Well done, Charlie. You saved the day. 
Hail to the king! The crown has been restored to its ancient glory! The hobo nation has its king! <laughs> the, the party goers. Emissary! You are my hero! Hail to the emissary of the king! <laughs> you of value did very well indeed, lad. I'll guide the hobo people to a prosperous future. Let us not talk of things to come just yet, we first must celebrate! Charlie, I just knew you could do it. This is indeed Camelfoot. Alright, let's steal one of these people. Oh, they're, just, they're the normal ones. They just have party hats now. Princess hats and giant gloves. This is silly. Okay. <laughs> there they are. There's my friendly hobo blacksmith people. Okay, so let's grab them and them. Probably don't need the water. I might as well grab the water guy. Since he's right there. Water, pan, fire. First we'll use fire to solve all of our problems. Come here, little ghosty ghosty ghosties. I want to set fire to you. Only problem is you can't actually move very fast while breathing fire. Or at all. Oh, you got killed! What? What just... what just happened? That sign said fire would work. Oh, no. Fire just holds them back. Doesn't really work. Well, let's try with the pans instead. Perhaps fighting them off with the pans will be more effective. I'm stuck. Pong! 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 Oh no. Yep. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Pans. Fire. Neither of those worked very well. <clears throat> let's see what else we can do here. Maybe I have to steal a caged kid. <laughs> Are you carrying me to freedom, mister? Nope. Oh no! Don't drop me! I died. Oh, but the kid is still on my head. Man, okay, this is harder than I thought. Hmm. I just don't need this cage in any abandoned ruins. But I mean, really? Oh no! Oh my goodness. There's so many of them there. How in the heck am I supposed to do this? There we go, that's a better route. Get out of the way, zombies. Oh, the door's still open. Oh, goodness. Run, 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 run. Why is there a fishing person and a, uh, a violinist? No, she's the examining person. Okay. Would have been weird if she was a violinist. Oh. Man, that's mean. I put the cage down to distract the zombies. You terrible, terrible people. Using a caged child to distract zombies. Well, it worked. It did work. Zombies, hurry up, leave me be. This is the longest stupid cutscene ever. Jailed bait. Marvelous. Alright, now, what else can I do here? Hmm. Something to do with the fishing rod, perhaps? Steal those zombie hats. 
damn it. What else can I do even here? I don't know. Let's steal one more hat from these zombies. One more hat! Ta -da. Oh, I've already stolen that hat. Okay, well, you know what? That one's being a pain in the butt. So, let us move on and try a different puzzle. I don't feel like fighting with that one for much longer right now. Let's find another way to bypass those, uh... tricksy little things. What's that? There's a rabbit in there! How do I get the rabbit down here? Come on, rabbit. Oh, hang on. There's the other burrow. Maybe I have to smoke him out. Let's go hit the smoking out guy. Try that. And there's something to do with that fish merchant, too. Don't know what, but there's definitely something. We'll bring the raccoon and the smoking out person to see if the smoking out works. See if the raccoon works. For all I know, that might be another burrow. I need help with Mr. Whiskers. There he is. Poor little bunny. Ding! This was the last place. So I could have walked through if I didn't feel like smoking him out. Let's see what this rabbit does. I'm gonna bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. And let's get the panda. Got the panda! Oh, he's got a mask on. I'm not entirely sure what this panda's gonna do. Best friends forever. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. A bunny, a raccoon, and a panda for some reason. Bounce, 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 bounce. Panda! Plunk! You silly little panda. Bounce, 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 bounce. I wonder why he's got a zipper on him now. Makes him kind of suspicious. Huh? It was the person after all! Ah! Come back! <laughs> Aww. You poor little fake panda. Where did you go? I wanted the panda. Where did you go, panda? How do I... how do I use you now? Ugh. Stupid sets. Okay, we got bird feathers, so there's a bird nest up there which we can use to bypass. All we need to do is figure out a way to make the bird come down. Can I steal, like, fish bones or something from this guy? No, that's just stealing his hat. There's just a salty side. My intestines are paying the price for my insatiable appetite. So well placed bash will dislodge that which ails me. Okay, so let's get the bindle and smack him. And to knock a fish out of him, which I should be able to use to call down the bird. Here we go! Funk! Clubbed. Oh. Oh, there's a fish! <laughs> That's his power. Fish out of water. Lovely. Okay. Get fish out of water down here. The seagull saw me. Hello there, seagull. What a tasty morsel you are. The scent of the sea is upon you, and my digestive juices are freely flowing. Oh, flop, flop over here to daddy, sea biscuit. What a tasty morsel you are. I'm a fish and a bird. So let's just skip that line of doom. Da -na -na -na. Problem solved. The power of fish. Fishy swallow. There's got to be another way around. I'm missing the first one. 
probably something about just jumping over that line. Well, I don't know who could do that. Hmm. Taintless tuna. She can go fish, that won't help me. You can blow smoke, and that won't help me. Erm. Um. Let's see what that sign there on the wall says. Ah, oh, which means the raising house is over this way. Herm. I can't imagine that the first one would use any of the special characters you don't unlock until the end. So that's probably not the solution. Maybe this is... there are safe places here. No. What's the what size? Maybe if you're the biggest size you can go across on those spots? I'm not sure what that means. It means you'd be the smallest size. Let's quickly scan those again, see which one's which. Out of the Baba Yaga. Magical house on legs. Alright, well you know what? Too bad! <laughs> the bindles grow on trees. Excellent. I'm just harvesting the bindle fruit. Something has to be up with these wet stakes. Oh! Oh, gross! Ah! Uh, I have a stake on my head. A rotten steak on my head. That is somewhat disgusting. Um, maybe I can use that to scare away the ghosts? <laughs> Just be so disgusting that the ghouls won't get me? Let's try. Let's see if disgusting steak head is a solution for the ghouls. For all I know, it could be. Uh, smell like us. Mm, smelling good. Get out of the way. It's great that you like me, but get out of my way. There we go. Click, 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 click. Back into the stink wizard. I wonder if that little girl's still down here. No, they cleared her out. Ding! Open the door again. No, that wasn't so bad. A little bit silly, but whatever. Ta-da! We used stink to get through this puzzle. Again! Cheese stink, and now steak stink! a long stupid cutscene. Come on. Meathead. So we have the last two left. Hmm. I'm guessing those have something to do with the fire and pans, because I never did figure out how to use those. I was supposed to use those to that puzzle anyway. Where the heck did that panda go? Did they come up here? It doesn't look like it. I really want the panda. Nope, there he is. Where'd the raccoon go, though? So I can bounce around. But where's my raccoon buddy? Hmm. I am quite confused. Unsavory sniff. He just smells people. Huh. That's strange. Oh, sniff the backside of adult dolls. That's silly. 
the power of sniffing butts. Nay, I shan't go there. Oh, it was a child. Oops. Sniff those butts. What is this? Pictures of meat and bones and things? Ding! You have a golden bow tie. Aww. That's silly. Alright. Well, this has been another episode of Stacking. Thanks for watching, but I think we're going to have to stop here. We'll come back another time. We'll see if we can solve the remaining solutions. This has been Vanguard of Valor, and I'll see you again later. Bye!